Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. So one of the things I like doing in addition to having a lot of the lessons videotaped is also videotaping a lot of the different assignments. So we're going to start with the critical assignment here for this particular video. So first I need to share the screen. Okay, so you will see here that this is the standard uh, St. Pete USF uh, formal lesson plan. So there's two documents in the folder. One is going to be this document here with these text marks. However, do not use this one to actually type in and upload it because there's some funky stuff happening with the margins and text writing. So I have a second one called textable or writable. Use this one. Now, so for this, put in your teacher candidate name. You can choose anything elementary if you're doing a different grade level, like if you want to be a science with these that's fine in like the secondary levels. This is estimated values here for total number of ESE ESOL students. You're allowed to pick any science concept that you want to. You're allowed to pick any concept. So as we scroll down with the Florida Common Core Standards, don't give me just a shorthand, actually write out the entire standard. What's your learning goal? What's your objective? Remember, for your objectives, they have to be measurable, okay? they need to be able to see like how can you actually know if you met the objective don't just say something at the end of your objective with 80 percent accuracy unless you can actually measure the 80 percent accuracy don't just say with 80 percent accuracy so you could say students will answer four out of five of the final questions correctly that's perfect prerequisites what do students need to know ahead of time misconception this is another part that i typically send them back for a misconception is something where they believe it is actually correct and they might come in with this knowledge when in fact it would disagree with what scientists accepted. A misunderstanding is that they just haven't learned it yet or they don't fully haven't learned what is going on. So think about it as something they've not learned. Pre-assessment, with anything with these documents, you want to make sure that if a substitute were to come in and look at your lesson, they'd be able to do it. So don't just tell me, I'm going to ask a couple questions to see what they know. Tell me what the questions are. Final assessment. If you're saying you're giving a quiz, include it. So this shouldn't just be a skeleton. It should be your actual lesson with everything included for it. For your scales, this is the Marzano scales. There's a website to kind of help you out with it. They need to be specific for your lesson. Don't just say, well, zero might be no work shown, but one needs help doing assignment. Well, what does need help with? Is it learning of the planets if you're doing an astronomy assignment? Is it under, you know, so be specific with it. This is where the meat of your lesson is going to be in stage three. So the presentation of content, you're going to be bringing everything together. Again, it's got to be detailed enough so that a substitute teacher could come in, pick it up, and follow along with it. Independent practice, are they doing anything on their own? What are you doing? What are they doing on their own? And then closure, how are you wrapping up? What are you doing with it? Um, if you're saying, you know, throughout the presentation of content, they're going to be watching a video, include the link to the video. So extensions enrichments, if you have those that are at a level four for your skills, how are you going to do, what are you going to do with them? Uh, how are you integrating technology? Don't tell me just PowerPoint. So think about what you might be doing to integrate the technologies with it. How are you going to differentiate instruction? We tend to neglect those that need extra help. We're very good at saying for those that need extra time, uh, for those that need this, this is what I'm going to do. But what about those that need the challenge? So it kind of goes along with your extensions and enrichment. And finally, don't worry about the reflections. So this is only if you've done it, and I'm not expecting to have done the video. So again, if you have any questions, read over the documents, rewatch the video. I am here to help you out. If you have any questions, concerns, again, please, please ask me. Never hesitate to ask me any questions you might have. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you with the next video.